Hey guys, so it's been a while since I brought you a five first impressions video, so I thought that while I'm still under the stay at home order, I would film a five first impressions video of things that I've had lying around for a while but haven't really gotten the chance to try them. Some are drugstore, some are high end. As you will see in the thumbnail, you know what I'm trying today. So if you'd like to see what I think of these products, then just keep watching. Okay, the first one is a newer product from Catrice. This is the Energizing Prime and Care Spray. It says be revitalizing the skin with grapefruit, kiwi, and vitamin C. This sounds very similar to the St. Ives Face Mist with grapefruit. It says uh, hydrating facial mist to give you a boost of happy, and it sounds like that is what this one is as well. It just says hold bottle 30 centimeters away from the face and spray evenly. So it's supposed to energize, so we'll give it a try. Ooh. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. Nice fine mist, but it smells a bit like deodorant. All right, we'll try this. I don't smell grapefruit at all. Hmm. Smells like Old Spice more than it does grapefruit. I have other facial mists that smell exactly like what they're supposed to. The Jane Iredell Palm Mist smells just like pomegranates. The Jane Iredell Lemongrass Spray smells just like lemongrass. This one, I'm not really getting grapefruit or kiwi. Smells like men's deodorant. Anyway, moving on. So the next product is a color corrector. This is from Mally. I've had this one for a while as well. This is the Dark Circle Corrector. Um, I have blue bags under my eyes. They are hereditary. It has nothing to do with lack of sleep with the stay at home order. We've been sleeping till nine every morning, kids included. So I'm definitely not lacking sleep. It's just a color thing. So this one looks to be like a mid-tone peach and it says it's a deeper shade. So they must have a lighter one, but this looks like it'll be the perfect shade for my skin tone. So let's give this a try together. It has like nine little holes in the applicator to dispense the product. All right, so we will give this a try. Twist to dispense. It is like a soft, spongy applicator, so you could apply it and blend it in with this. Um, I just generally don't. I don't think I'm gonna be able to blend it out fully with this. Let me try the finger on this side. Not so sure it color corrected as it just made the whole under eye area look peach, but let me try a little bit more where the areas are the most blue. So I'll let it sit there for a minute and see if it'll become a little bit more full coverage. Yeah, I feel like the longer that it has to kind of dry down, the better coverage you're gonna get and the better like pigmentation you're gonna get from this peach shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my cream products and we'll be back to try uh, two more powder products and a lip product, so see you in a minute. Okay, I went ahead and applied a little bit of the Jane Iredell Glow Time BB Cream with SPF since we are in the warm months now, and the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer under the eyes. Now it's time to try product number three, which is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. And I picked this up in the shade Light, which is the lightest shade. Now they have three shades. There's one that's like a whitish shade, which is like this one. Then they've got the medium shade, which looks a bit more beige. And then I think they have a deep shade. But I wanted to give this one a try because sometimes concealers make the under eyes look a little too dark. And I was hoping that something like this would help to combat that problem. So as you can see, it is a white powder. I have heard it has no flashback. Definitely does look brightening. So we will try it out, take a picture, see what we think. It does look nice and smoothing. I think it did brighten just looking at the monitor. I feel like this side looks a bit brighter than this side. A bit more matte, a bit more set. So far so good. So let me take a picture real quick to see if there's any difference between the two sides. 
Okay, so from the photo, I didn't see any flashback from this powder, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish setting the other eye. I'm gonna set the rest of the face real quick. Next up is a newer bronzing powder from Essence. This is the Sun Club Luminous Bronzing Powder, and this is the medium tone one. They were out of the lighter one, so I picked up the medium shade, and I wonder if this is gonna be a bit too orange for me, but I did like their Sun Club bronzer that they released a year or two ago. This one looks very, very, very warm, so I will have to just use it on like the perimeters of my face. Unlike the other one, this one doesn't smell like sunscreen. It doesn't smell like tropical drinks it doesn't really smell like anything honestly i'm just gonna grab like a fluffy powder brush and kind of lightly dust this onto the perimeter of my face i have a feeling it's going to be too warm for a contour okay so i've warmed up this side a bit it's actually not too warm applied lightly I have a feeling if I really went in as like a contour, it would look a little bit strange. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is on the warm side, but it still looks pretty natural. I kind of like that. I didn't think I would. Actually looks really nice it's very flattering on my skin tone so I feel like if you have a similar skin tone to me you will be able to get away with the medium shade and it's called 20 sun kissed in California I am curious to know what number 10 looks like the lighter tone one this actually looks really pretty especially with this warmer eye look next up we have two newer lipsticks from Smashbox these are the always on cream to matte lipsticks and I have the shade just barely and not today so let's swatch them and see which will go best with this eye look their standard black packaging it shows the shade on top and the shade name on the bottom and they have a little X on the top of the lipstick bullet not sure if you guys can see that cute all right so this first one is just barely it's like a nice pinky tone nude and then the second one is called not today just a little bit warmer so I think I'll go with this one today it says, cream to matte formula transforms to a velvety matte on contact. Won't cake, fade, flake, bleed, or feather with primer oil complex in it. Glides on and sets fast. Okay, it says line lips with the tip and then fill with the color and close the tap, close the cap tightly. nice color I don't usually go for like peachy nudes but this one's pretty nice okay so now that we've tried all five new products let's talk about my thoughts the Catrice energizing prime and care spray I don't care for the scent of this the mister is nice I just have other priming sprays that I like the fragrance of a lot better so I would say pass on this one Catrice has some other products I like a whole lot more like their HD full coverage dropper foundation their dropper concealer both really really good um, the second product that I tried, the Mali Dark Circle Corrector, I think did a really nice job of canceling out the blue. I always use a corrector like this when I'm wearing like blue or purple eyeshadow just so that it's not emphasizing the color under the eyes. So I like this so far. I think it's a nice color corrector. The Pat McGrath Labs Under Eye Blur Powder. I think it did a really nice job of brightening and smoothing the under eye area. Um, I will continue to use it. The only downfalls are one, the price. Um, to how dusty it is and the small amount of powder you get. I feel like I would go through this very quickly. For that high price tag, I'm not quite sure it's worth it. I have an H&M powder and a Maybelline powder that I like just as much underneath the eyes. So I'm not saying you have to go out and spend this much money for a powder like this, but it does seem to be doing a really nice job of smoothing and brightening. 
So I do like it. I just don't know if I can justify the price just yet. The Essence Bronzer, I think it did a really nice job of warming up the skin. It's definitely warm tone. It's definitely not going to be a contouring powder, but it does a nice job of making your skin look like it was out in the sun, bronzed and just a little bit glowy, like a hint of sheen, no shimmer, no sparkle, just a little bit of like a glowy sheen to the skin. Very natural looking. I do like this. And the cream to matte, it does go on like a cream. Dries down like a matte. Seems to be transfer resistant, transfer proof. It says it lasts a long time. I like it so far. So those are my first impressions of the five new products we tried today. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing them in action and hearing my thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.